Just give a little downtime? Yeah, I got a little bit. A little bit. So this is like the first day of training camp then with these guys? Yeah, to... no, it really was. <laughs> and just like I suspected, they, they forgot to play. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, we grabbed them early, tried, and then we're going to grab them again to, um, today after the shooting. Just, you know, continue to keep going through the plays and a couple of defensive coverages. But, I mean, overall, the energy of the practice is great. You have to be kind of patient with this, Ty. I mean, I know you're jamming a lot down there. Throws yeah, no, I mean, I'm just trying to keep it simple as possible right now, but we have to start adding, you know, especially when the playoffs come. Uh, we don't want to be a predictable team, so we got to continue to keep adding. But right now, it's got to we know right now and just continue to keep building off that because, like I thought before um, we left for um, All-Star break, I think they were able to get the place. And, you know, it's kind of tough, so we just got to keep working at it. Overall, though, how, how are the new guys fitting in? Oh, they're great. I just think their energy um, is great. You know, I had a good practice today. Uh, a lot of live bodies, so I mean, it was good just to see that out there. So we got to continue to keep building, keep getting better. Ty, what, what about those four guys that has allowed them to fit in so well so quickly? Um, I think you get young players, but um, not rookies or second year guys. You get guys that have been four or five years. And, um, you know, we keep everything pretty basic and pretty simple, but they know how to play the game. And I think, um, you know, when you got guys know how to play the game, um, it's easy to fit in. And then we can continue to keep building, um, you know, once they kind of pick up what they're trying to do. And um, they'll get better. But um, it's going to be a process, and they understand that. And um, a lot of longer practices now, just going to teach, and the guys can understand what they're trying to do. Can you see the effect on the veterans to what they're, you know, the energy? Passing the old guys out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, every now and then, but I mean, it was good, and they just happened to be out there too. So mm -hmm. um, we talked about it. You know, it's going to be a process, and basically like a training camp all over again. Mm -hmm. We got four new guys that are heavy in the rotation, so we just got to continue to keep working at it. Okay. So, will you set some of the vets as you teach these guys in stuff? practice? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can you talk about the hunger that they must bring to your team since they were in really like non-playoff situations? and now they have a chance to be champions. So how does that hunger affect the way they can help you? I just think when you're young, you don't know any better. You just want to play the game and play hard. And that's all you know. And um, that's what this group of guys does. They play hard for us. Um, they compete. And then also, they can also go out and score the basketball, shoot the basketball. So it's been a great fit so far. Do you think you have the same lineup you had before the break against Washington? Yes. Uh, when you go about over the first two-thirds of the season, we, we would ask about identity, and it was hard to really pin one down because of the injury and all those things. When you go about trying to go to the now, how do you go? How do you go? I think it has to start with our, with our defense. I think now having a lot of the guys with the same size and similar size, like the OKC game, we had Clarkson, we had Braun, Jeff Green, Hood, and Nance. We were able to switch a lot of things, and um, that's what we got to be, turn our defense into offense, and I think you know, regarding the basketball, we're getting stops, getting turnovers, we can really get out and run because we have four guys on the floor at all times can make a play. Ty, was it frustrating at all that you get these guys, you get to start off a little bit on a roll, and then oh, you got to take a week off, basically? Um, yeah, it was, but we needed it. Uh, we needed a break, and, um, you know, going through a tough stretch and then finally getting these guys here and then four in a row. I'm just being positive, so you, you never want to take time off when you kind of play and get and roll it. But um, I thought we needed it as a team. We needed it, and now we're back, and um, we got the team to good. Hey, Ty, did you have to um, bite your tongue a little bit before these trades when we kept asking you things like, you know, why isn't everything clicking? Um, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> uh, we're into that phase already. No, we're not. We're not. I, I got to think about it, so I'll let you know. I'll let you know another time. All right. We're I'm waiting for the cameras on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Over the break, though, do you have a chance to like reassess this group and what you guys didn't do in the first half and maybe things that you did do well, even with new players? And yes, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited, but I mean, again, like like Tom said, we can't move too fast and you know, can't put in a lot of stuff and. You know, it's gonna be hard to pick up. So we just gotta just be patient. You know, we got a lot of a lot of new guys, um, a different identity now. So it's gonna take some time. We understand that. So I can't really rush to get things in, but I am very excited to put a lot of stuff in. Have you sort of plotted out though, like when you're gonna yeah, put that some? Never of these? Oh, right. <laughs> it never works. It never works. You know, you try to, but it never works. So we'll see. With this stretch of 17 games in 32 days, where do you get the extra time? Uh, 
you know, after you shoot around, you know, in practice time and, uh, to teach and for guys to get better. Um, you know, not a lot of off days now. You, you play every other day. We play, take off, but we're gonna be able to do that now, especially the new guys. So, um, just gotta be smart about it so guys get their rest, but also make sure we're teaching and letting guys uh, come in so they be able, be able to pick up things we're trying to do. Say the young guys don't know any better, but how do you anticipate they play with expectations? Because I mean, a lot of them, I mean, three of them are 25 and they really haven't played on well, a It's a good start. Country. I think playing Boston, you know, who's, who's a great team, and playing OKC, you know, who uh, blew us out here at home. And to play in those two big games, national televised games, and play the way they play, I mean, it's a big step, a huge step. And uh, so I really don't see them being scared and being afraid of the moment. So uh, going forward, you know, it's a positive direction we're going in. Ty, how big of a challenge is it with the few games that you have left to figure out who can play with who when you bring in four brand new guys into a mix? Um, it's not tough. I think the toughest part is just picking up offensively, you know, all the plays and all the calls. And, um, a lot of the stuff is interchangeable, so being in different positions, um, that's going to be the hardest thing, I think. And uh, defense, we just try to simplify it, just switching one through four and, you know, dropping out to the five or dipping to the five and try to keep it simple. So, um, I think the hardest part is going to be offensive. Okay. Uh, thank you.